America, Tom Hand here with Americana Corner. Today we're discussing the capture of Fort Sackville. Lieutenant Colonel George Rogers Clark and his small army arrived in the outskirts of Fort Sackville in the fading sunlight on February 23, 1779, undetected by the British garrison. Clark sent a proclamation to the inhabitants of the adjacent town of Vincennes, announcing Clark planned to take the fort that night and warned everyone to remain in their homes. Such was the fear and respect Clark's reputation inspired that no one informed the British garrison of the impending attack. At twilight, Clark deployed his men and commenced the siege announcing his presence by firing on the palisaded walls. When Henry Hamilton, the British commander, asked about all the commotion, his American prisoner, Captain Leonard Helm, replied, it means that you and all your men are prisoners of George Rogers Clark. In the morning, Clark demanded Hamilton surrender or suffer the consequences. Although initially defiant, a white flag was raised over Fort Sackville and Hamilton agreed to terms. The formal ceremony took place on February 25th, with the garrison stacking arms on the parade ground of newly renamed Fort Patrick Henry. Clark released the militiamen, but sent the 33 British regulars along with Hamilton east to Williamsburg. The capture of Fort Sackville would prove to be the highlight of Clark's life, unusual and that it happened when he was only 26 years old. The future seemed bright for George Rogers Clark, but it was not to be. Outside the crucible of war, Clark struggled to rise above his human failings. But no matter, for now, Clark was the king of the Illinois country and a hero to the American cause. Next week, we will discuss Kentuckians taking the fight into the Ohio country. Until next time, may your love of country lead you.